Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you, to all the viewers and subscribers on the Quest GIS YouTube channel. So first I want to extend my heartfelt thanks for all your support throughout and we are especially grateful to those who have reached out to let us know that how our channel has helped them complete their thesis and other projects and accomplish their goals on time. So if you are new to uh, this channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest content. So we offer a variety of tutorials. If you will go through our channel, you will find the tutorials from basics of QGIS to advanced mapping techniques. So if you are looking to get started with QGIS, I can say that you have come to the right place. So don't forget to check out our videos after watching, after going through this video. So talking about this video, we are going to learn the basics and step by step method for calculating stream length gradient index, also known as HACS index, which was given by HACK in 1973 or SL index using open source QGIS processing toolbox. So uh, basically SL index is one of the morphometric parameters, morphometric indices which is widely used in understanding the dynamics and behavior of a river or a drainage network. So before going into the detail of SL index, it's important that we understand what exactly are morphometric parameters in general. So basically morphometric parameters in general refer to the quantitative measurements of landforms and their features. So these parameters help a scientist understand the shape, size and distribution of landforms as well as processes that shape them. So they are typically categorized into three main types. There are linear. So linear measures the length and arrangement of features like rivers and streams. So example can be you know your stream order, stream length and drainage density. And there are some parameters that calculates the aerial aspect. So uh, they actually calculate the area and shape of the landforms. For example, your basin area, your perimeter and the shape index. So third one is your relief aspects. So these measure the elevation and slope of landforms. Example include mean elevation, relief ratio and slope. So by analyzing these parameters, uh, geomorphologist or geoscientist or geologist can gain insights into the geological history, climate and you know hydrological processes of a region. So basically this information is crucial for land use planning and natural resource management and environmental conservation. So now let's begin understand begin by understanding our first morphometric parameter which is SL index. So basically stream length gradient index, it is also known as HACS index or SL index. It is a morphometric parameter that is used to analyze the longitudinal profiles of river. So when we say longitudinal profile, what does that mean? So basically your longitudinal profiles of a river is a curve. Just a moment. So yeah, basically it's a curve. Okay that represent the relationship between the height, the height, okay, and the distance downstream, distance downstream, okay. So it reflects the influence of gradient on channel behavior, okay. So how uh, the gradient influences the behavior of channel, okay, whether it is shifting the channel or whether the channel follows its own path, okay, or whether there is a sudden fall along the river, okay. So these uh, sort of things we can identify along the longitudinal section, okay. So how do we calculate this particular SL index or HACS index? So the mathematical equation was given by HACK in 1970. Three. So it says that change in elevation between two points, okay, and the change in length of uh, or the length of the reach that we are considering into the length of the channel between the midpoints of the reach 
to the divide or point of divide so what how you can visualize it in cross section so it looks something like this that we have drawn a longitudinal profile here okay so let's suppose there are two points a and b and uh, between which we want to calculate this sl index so what we what parameters or what uh, numbers that we require what quantity do we require so we require here between the distance of the river between the point a and b which is your del l or your length of the reach okay and del h is the change in elevation so what was the elevation at this point and what was the elevation at this point we are going to we can subtract that to get our delta h okay you can also keep delta h constant by uh, taking a contour interval of some let's say 100 meters you can keep del h constant but however in our hands on practice we are going to take the take a very vari variable uh, delta h okay so and what about l so it is very tricky to understand l and also to calculate l it is not a straight forward method so what exactly we have to do so suppose that this is your point of divide so point of divide basically means that your river originates from uh, this place okay so this is where your point of divide is or you can say point of origination of river is okay so what and this is your reach so this is the point between uh, you know the distance between a and b for which we have to calculate our sl index so what exactly we are doing we are taking the point of divide okay and we are taking the midpoint of our reach okay let me choose some other color yeah midpoint of this reach let's say this is our midpoint okay and if i erase the entire thing okay yeah so this is the midpoint of our reach and this is and l is the distance from point of divide okay from point of divide to the midpoint right so of course there won't be only one l that we have to calculate because the stream is going to um, you know flow further downward so there will be one more reach here let's say this is your point c okay now what you will do you will take the distance you know this this will be your delta l and this and this will be your delta h right delta h and what will be your l so for calculating the l what you will do you will calculate the midpoint of this particular reach and will calculate the distance from here to here okay so in your second case this will be your l so i hope how you can calculate l h and delta l is clear with all of you however we are going to uh, again uh, understand this diagram when we are calculating these things these parameters in qgis okay so yeah this is how your hack index will look like in a planar view okay in a plan view so basically this is your drainage basin right and this is your point of divide let me yeah so this is this is your point of divide okay and this was the reach that uh, this example is taking this is the length this is the reach let me take another color this is the length of the reach okay so here they have calculated delta l the length of the river between point a and b and the elevation difference which is your 40 meters by minus 20 meters that is 20 meters right and its length l will be the length from the divide to its midpoint okay so this is how it's going to look like in your plan view and the first one was in your longitudinal cross sectional view so basically what is the importance of sl index okay why do we calculate it so uh, the sl index helps us in understanding how a river adjusts to the topography through the tectonics to the geological factors and climatic conditions along their course because all these things affect the drainage network whatever because you see the rivers are flowing in a particular landscape in particular landform right so if there is any change in this in this particular landform due to the climate change due to the tectonics due to some geological factors maybe the rock is resistant or the rocks are soft okay 
if there is any fault uh, zone in a particular area and if there is any anthropogenic activity along the river course or in the river's floodplain so of course there will be a uh, that is going to change the behavior of the river how is how river is going to flow now okay that is going to be changed in due course of time so that sl index can help us in understanding those factors when we compare it with the uh, with all type of factors after calculating it then that can be analyzed okay so basically it uh, helps us in understanding the river behavior with time okay river behavior with time because understanding the river behavior is crucial for managing water resources effectively and this can help us in understanding the natural hazard uh, mitigation for example if you are working in a flood domain so you can analyze sl index uh, uh, you know or you can analyze these river adjustments and drainage network so sl and you can also predict which are the areas that are prone to flooding so for sustainable development in land use land planning development okay you can uh, get some information and decide about the land use land cover planning in a region and also of course the ecosystem health okay so these are all the importance of your sl calculating your sl index or any other morphometric parameters okay so in this tutorial so this was all about the basics of sl index i hope this was clear and in uh, in the next video you are going to learn how to calculate all the parameters that we discussed so far for example the length of the reach the change in the elevation uh, of the reach and the l value okay so all these things we are going to learn one by one in qgis okay so that was all the theoretical part and let's now start our uh, practical session okay so i hope it was clear so these are all the figure courtesy the, so i have taken the figures from these two uh, one this one website and this is one research paper so from where i have uh, taken those diagrams to un better to make you better understand what how exactly sl index is calculated okay so let's move on to next video and start learning the practical part in qgis okay thank you